Alright boys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys the data store plugin, which is sole purpose is to make data stores. Let's get right into it. Alright, now before I begin, I just want to say that on July 2nd, uh, this Saturday, I am flying down to Arizona for around two months. If I don't post any content for that time, I do apologize. My GFX commissions will be closed until then, until I come back on August. It's sometime in August, I'm not sure yet. And the quality of videos will not be the same. If I do make any videos, I will be making them on iMovie. as how they first started when I had first begun the channel. So they're not going to be the best anymore, but I'll try my best to get as much content out as possible whenever I to begin with this plugin, what you're gonna want to do is follow the link in the description to get this data storer plugin here. Now my internet's being a little spotty, so nothing's really loading, but this is the plugin. This is the link. It'll be the link in the description below. And you install it, which I have not done yet. I just have it as a local plugin, which is the same thing. So now, click on the plugin, and when you first open it up, this is what comes up, right? This doesn't do anything yet. That'll be a feature in the later. <laughs> it just says this store. And then this will create the data store. And now from here, these are all the things that you can insert into the data store. Now that doesn't mean that it's inserting into the leaderboard itself. Whatever you insert into the data store will be inserted into the player. To add a leaderboard, you need a folder called leader stats. Instead of writing out a single line of code to do that, create a folder and name it leader stats insert it in and i've got a folder called leader stats you might be wondering well how do i get back and how do i create more things close the plugin reopen the plugin and boom. now you can add the plus again maybe you want cash and strength because you're making some sort of weightlifting simulator number value cash parent leader stats with a value of whatever value you want and insert you can name this whatever if you want it to be in the leaderboard, it has to be a parent of leader stats and whatever value you want. That'll be the initialization value. So when they join without any data, this will be what the value is set to. Boom, leader stats cache. Now you could just click in here and insert your int value and all that, but I've made it easier with this little plugin so you don't have to go through the work. It's all here. And now let's just add strength, leader stats is zero. And you can add as many as you want but it's ideal not to add too many because it does get a little bit backed up sometimes, data stores do. So let's say you want to have two of the same name items in different folders. So let me start off by adding some folders here. So I have our folders now, and let's say you want to insert, I don't know, pet into both of them. Normally with some data stores, when you set the key, you can't have the same name no matter what inside of the data store. But how I've set it up, and you don't even have to touch any of this code by the way. Leave it be and it does its thing. As you can see I save it as the item name and then it concatenates the folder name. This is just a space so I know like whenever you print the data. So that means what you can do is you can insert the same value of like top inside of test folder one and inside of test folder two. So let's click play now and there won't be any errors that will indicate that I can't save two things with the same name. And we've got pop and test folder one, pop and test folder two. And now let's run around, maybe change some values around. And it should say save data correctly. If it doesn't and it gives a warning, which is this right here, this color, with an error message, email me or um, DM me on Instagram, ask about it, I'll see if I can fix it. And then let's play again, and a table should be printed to the output if it's saved in studio, which it did. Now you can open it, you can see pop space test folder one equals zero, and then pop test folder two equals one, two, four, one, two, four. So that's how you use this data store plugin. If you guys did like this content and do want to see more, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. As you guys know, we're in a race to a thousand subs to Eric Anse. It's kind of a large scale since I'm only at 50 subs. Actually, no, I'm at 60. So thank you guys so much for that. That is crazy. Due to you guys' support, I'm doing a 800 Robux giveaway at 100 subscribers. So if you guys sub, once it comes that time, then I will do a wheel spin of all the subscribers and I'll make sure that you are both in the group you follow me on instagram and i know your roblox username so yeah i'll see you on the next one